Lord have mercy. This video is giving me PTSD. <sighs> Popular demand. The people want what they want. <gasps> do I want to give them what they want? I can't believe I'm bringing myself to do this. If you finish from Covenant University, I'm sure you can relate to the belly turning I'm having right now. The thoughts about that school makes my belly ache. Oh, God have mercy. Mix it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Quick Stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. This video is making my head ache. It's doing me to really turn on off. But yeah, I'm sure you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail. I will basically be sharing my experience in Covenant University. So sit back and get comfortable because it's about to be a crazy story time. As we all know, or if you didn't know, I attended Covenant University and I graduated from Covenant University. I studied accounting. I already wrote a couple of things to share so I don't derail. I really want this video to be as brief and quick as possible because the more I sit down here, the more my ass is getting on fire. Mind you, this video is strictly from my personal experience, my journey, how I survived, the things I had to do, the steps I had to take, and all of that. If you do not agree with this, that is totally fine. This is my perspective. Okay, my first point is how I see Covenant University from a personal experience. Coming from Faith Academy, I attended Faith Academy boarding school. The year I finished from high school was the same year I got into uni. So I didn't have that one year or a couple of months staying at home and being idle, doing nothing. Lie -lie. As I finished high school, I entered uni. One chance. For me, it wasn't that much of a shift. Why do I say this? Because Faith Academy is under Covenant University. The owner of Faith Academy is the owner of Covenant University. It's under the same umbrella. My first year in Covenant University was really, really terrible. <laughs> okay, let me be specific. My first semester, I was very to myself. I did not know anything. I was what? I was so young and dumb. I didn't know Shingwen. Hold on, let me check if this is recording because it's giving me PTSD that it's not recording. Okay, she's recording. Please just have your way in this video because I don't want to do this for you guys are making me do it. I don't want to do this video. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. I swear to God, if you attend a Covenant University, I promise, I know you can relate. I know you can relate to this feeling right now. Like, my belly is turning me. <laughs> my belly is turning me. I don't want to do this. Cuts, cuts. Okay, action. <laughs> I'm such a clown. My first semester in uni was very quiet. I didn't make friends. The only people I spoke to was people that we were in the same secondary school and we came to the same uni. My good friend Ogochuku. Ogochuku was my best friend in high school and then we came to Covenant University together. So the first, our first semester, we were actually a room apart. Like I was in 401, she was in 402. We were in Esther Hall. We all know that is the hall for everybody to begin. To me, it wasn't that much of a great shift coming from Faith Academy to Covenant University. That's my opinion. That's my two cents. How did I survive in Covenant University? I'm just going to be sharing a few tips and tricks. How I avoided drama, just stayed on my lane, did what I had to do to get the fuck out because I wasn't about to spend any more time than I was supposed to spend in there that I'm bagging. The first tip to survive Covenant University, how to survive Covenant University. Number one, are you writing? You should be writing, especially if you want to go inside there. It's a war zone. That's the way get coconut and then they survive pass. First point is be low key. Yes, be low key. I promise you, your first year, they will want to catch crews with you. They will want to do all these uh, award or give you fashionista like most popular, most beautiful. It was giving me Hall of Fame vibes from secondary school. I wasn't interested in any of that. My first year, second year, even till I graduated, if you know me personally, you know that I laid very low in Covenant universities. If you know me outside school, then you know that, yes, quick step outside school was not the quick step inside school. I was not friendly. I had a natural resting beach face. <laughs> Except you know me personally, you cannot just approach me because I will not answer you. Or the way I will answer you will just turn you off. You're like, okay, she's not in the mood. Let me just give her space. Be low-key with teachers in class. 
So how I was looking in class, I did not sit down in the back back of class. I did not so sit down in the front front of class. I so sit down in the middle. I so gauge it. You understand? You have to calculate it. Because if you sit down in the back back of class, that's where noisemakers are. That's what lecturers believe that the back of the class is where they are making noise the most. Do not sit down in the back of the class except you want to look for the lecturer's trouble. And do not so sit down in the front of the class except you want to answer lecturer's question. Me, I did not want to do anymore. So I was mostly in the middle. I was just sit down in the class. I'll do like I'm listening. If my spirit carry me, I'll write. The one where my spirit no carry, I'll just sit down there and just do like I'm paying attention. But honestly, my mind has gone elsewhere. Or if I'm so tired, I will sleep. I'll tell my friend, I beg if the teacher is coming, wake me up. <laughs> I was such a terrible student, but bro, this is my reality. That's how I survived. So yeah, first point, be lucky. Be lucky in your hostel. Stay in your room. See. Don't make too much friends because Covenant University they admit mostly immature people. No offense. They admit mostly students from as young as 13 to 16. If you are more than 20 and you are applying to enter Covenant University, I promise you they won't grant you that admission. Because you are way above the age limit. You are way above the age bracket. They're like, bro, you do not qualify for this. Why do I say this? Because they admit mostly younger people so that it will be easy to control them because I mean, you are young, you don't know anything in this life. They are just ushering you into the life. Oh, and in my opinion, Covenant University is such a customized world. Why do I say this? Because it does not prepare you for real life. I'll get to that point. Let me follow my script so that I will not talk too much. Next point, how to survive in Covenant University. Have smart friends, both academic smart and street smart. Very essential. It depends on you. If you want to be an academic student, good. Me, I was just in uni to do and let me get my degree and go. If I'm being honest, if I have a chance, I would have changed my course. I wouldn't have done accounting, but I mean, accounting is also such essential knowledge for everybody. There is no company in this world that does not need an accountant. It has such strong power i do not regret studying uni but if i'm being honest if i was to study a course right now i would have mostly done marketing or business administration or mass communication something in that field but i have no regrets i mean no knowledge is a waste so yeah have smart friends academic friends friends that pay attention in class friends that are teachers pets because teachers pets i be lecturers pets lecturer will tell them some key points that study here, this is our brain test, or they will just randomly wake up and come the next day. Oh, yeah, tea at a sheet of paper. We're having tests now. Ganga, you did not read. Zero over 10. My dear, it's good to have both academic friends and street friends. When I say street friends, I mean people that are smart, people that can think maturely. Do not go and friend an immature person because their brain is not fully developed. Anything you tell them, their mouth is licking tap. So be wise. Use your head, don't let your head use you. Next point, how to survive in Covenant University, dress compliantly. Yes, I know the dress code is terrible. Jeans are not allowed. You have to wear baggy clothes. You are not allowed to wear tight clothes. But honestly, it will do you more good to even wear the biggest shirt you can find and the biggest pants. Just be compliant. <laughs> Except you are looking for unnecessary attention. I promise you, it will do you more good. Because... God, I beg. Uh -uh. There are some trousers you wear, you think you're compliant. Somebody from nowhere, lecturer from nowhere will just spot you. Hey, it's you. Come here. Why is your trouser cropping? Something very, very silly and just like that, you've entered Wahala. Just like that, they've taken your ID card. Like, play like play. You're begging lecturer. <laughs> like, play like play. Things that they change for your eyes. So, just be compliant. Don't try to do swag. Don't try to do fashion. <clears throat> a word is enough for the wise. I cannot stress this more than I have said it already dress compliantly yes the rules are strict follow it if you want to survive <laughs> he who has ear letting what here point number four okay keep your circle small and keep your mouth shut i said it there are immature students everywhere don't go with the cha 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 now you sabi <laughs> anytime you sleep and wake up and you see your gist on billboard <laughs> Bro, I had a nasty experience. <laughs> I'm sure everyone in my set can remember this. Where my sex chats leaked 
or something like i had a sex chat with one guy like two years ago i mean three years ago and somebody hacked my instagram account and took the time and it's so funny how i know who hacked that account and that person is such a green snake in a green grass but i've moved on in life i've forgiven you i've also forgotten you i don't care about you you don't care about me everybody go your way if you're watching this you know yourself i know you too we move <laughs> My sex child from how many years ago, this babe uprooted it. I was also so silly. I was so naive. I actually put myself in that shit. Because there's no Wi-Fi, like there's Wi-Fi in school, but if you know, you know there's Wi-Fi, but there's no Wi-Fi. Bro, there are sometimes the network is terrible you need to speak to somebody communication in community university is very strained because there's no phone sim cards are not allowed you're not allowed to bring wi-fi or portable wi-fi if they catch you you chop suspension or expulsion depending on who catches you so my guy just be smart and be wise yeah i was so naive and i trusted this babe i logged in on my instagram account on her ipod and she was in a different hall from my hall and once it's 9 p.m. in common invest before it gets to 9 p.m. So make sure you have reached your hall. If not, MSS bus will parole the place and they will pick you. And like that, you will feel offense for. And like that, who knows where it will take you to. So better to avoid drama. What's the quote? Medicine before death is better than death after medicine. Eh? What did I just say? Medicine before death is better than medicine after death yes medicine before death is better than medicine after death <laughs> i used to go to her hall because her hall had wi-fi so she had a my fi too so this day that i was so carried away i don't even know who i was talking to i forgot myself when i checked time 8 50 i'll be 8 55 i say eh and the network was now slow it was now refusing to log me i should not say i should go that don't worry she will log me out i say okay me momo i trusted her now i said okay no problem i'll go i left how many days after i didn't reach two weeks three weeks now stephanie see her her whole life in front of her sex chat from three years ago somebody uprooted it and it was such Common is such a small but big school. Why do I say such a small but big school? Because everybody knows everybody, but everybody does not know everybody. It's such a tiny place that information spreads very fast. Because we are all bored. Everybody was bored in that school. There was nothing to do. Anything to that everybody knows. Bro, this thing was the talk of town. But I couldn't care less. Some people, they would have stayed in the hostel. They would not come out. The day that it happened, the day that the sex chat leaked out, that everything was on fire. I deleted my Instagram account. This was when 2018. I deleted my Instagram account because she hacked it and I had no access to it again. So I just deleted it. I created a new one with the same quick step. We must learn that the same day. That day, obviously, I'm hungry. I will go to the cafeteria to buy food. As I was walking to the cafeteria, I come and see this hostel, this boys' hostel that is facing the cafeteria side. See the way they were screaming, like, what did they not say? They said all sorts of things. Like, remembering it now just makes me laugh. <laughs> Glory be to God, that has passed. So, yeah, keep your circle small and keep your mouth shut. Because there are so many people that you don't know their intention. This is even a general advice for real life, not only coming to this. Next point, have multiple personalities. Now, if you know me, you know that the quick step you know outside Covenant University was not the same quick step you know inside Covenant University. Why do I say that? Because I am a model, I am a content creator, I am a creative. So, I will, I will say this other story. This story is coming, don't worry. This story is coming, <laughs> how I graduated. So Chill. basically, the person I was in school was different from the person I was outside school. Because if I wanted to be myself inside school, I would have been expelled is the truth and i didn't want the years i have invested to waste i didn't want the money i have invested to waste i didn't want anything to waste so i'm just like you know what i'll just lay low i'll just behave like i am a mumu like i don't know anything i wore the baggiest clothes i always plugged my ears i had very limited people i talked to and they were mostly like my classmates my dear that's how to help yourself or help yourself if not if you know you know if you don't know thank god so now we're moving to the pros and cons of covenant university yes everybody has this idea that covenant university is such a terrible school but in my opinion it's also a good school hear me out 
this is why I said it's also a good school because four years is four years, five years is five years. There is no strike. One teacher will not wake up tomorrow and say they don't want to teach because they've not paid him salary for 10 years. So therefore, he's not coming to class again. Everybody go home. Your four years course will turn to 10 years course. No, 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 no. Except you're not serious. So maybe you fail the course or something. You have a carryover. Uh-huh. But that oneself will never take time because they have this rule. If you have failed... Jesus. They have this rule of if you have... If you're supposed to graduate, let's say 2020, you now fail the course that did not allow you to graduate 2020. You now come back 2021 to take the course. You fail the course again 2021. You now come back again 2022 to take the course. You fail the course again. My guy, I promise you, they will jack by you. <laughs> they will X you. They don't get time. Bye-bye. Because they don't want such an old person. Like I said, they admit mostly young people. So they don't want a 26 or a 24-year-old in the same environment with a 13-year-old, a 14-year-old, a 15-year-old. Because let's be honest, somebody that is 24, 25 cannot relate to somebody that is 13, 14. Like, the difference is very clear. So with that being said, that takes me to the pros of Covenant University. I'll start with the good side of Covenant University because that's what I've started with already. Guaranteed time of graduation. I've said this already. I don't think there's any course that is more than five years Covenant The maximum is five years. They don't do medicine. Another pro of Covenant University, you develop a good fashion sense. Hear me out. Hear me out. Before you chop me raw, hear me out. Hmm? When I say you develop a good fashion sense, yes, I was just yabbing the fact that the dress code is strict. You are not allowed to be yourself. You're not allowed to dress freely. You're not allowed to express yourself. But Covenant University students have a reputation of dressing well. I won't lie, it has also affected my own fashion set. It has affected my own style. I am now more into a cut pants. It affects your dress sense. If you know, you know. Next point, you have a good support system. Covenant University students support Covenant University students. As far as you are doing well in your field, everybody wants to identify with somebody that is thriving. As far as you are good at what you do, you have a strong support system. I promise you. That one is for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I know a bunch of you are watching this video right now. Shout out to all of you. My love and hugs. Virtual hugs and loves. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> okay. Now, cons of Covenant university i started with the good now we're going to the bad number one it does not prepare you for real life why do i say this it is a customized world why do i say it's a customized world first thing first phones are not allowed your phone is very essential wi-fi internet is very essential yes they provide wi-fi for you but there's also no wi-fi because how we 10,000 students be using one network provider and you expect the network provider to be fast and efficient no it will not be no it will not happen also the fact that you are not allowed to sell in covenant university except it is trade fair and even if it is trade fair you have to register so speaking from a personal story i had to sell jewelries if you know me you know that 200 level 300 level i used to sell jewelries in school i used to literally walk around the whole hostel knock from door to door hi hello i sell jewelry do you want to buy some of them will say oh i like your face come I let's see what you have like that i'll see customer like that i'll collect three thousand like that i'll collect five thousand like that i'll collect ten thousand like that like that that's how i was gathering my money and that's how i was able to feed in school but now that is not allowed because if somebody is being wicked let me use the word wicked it's only wanted to do me wickedness strong thing and maybe i went to their room to sell and then i did not know that they are snitches because yes they pay people to snitch they pay people to snitch they call them what they call them again i've forgotten what they call them but yes these are like the immature students the people that their brain is not developed they don't have thinking faculty they don't know what they are doing to so them ah give me ten thousand i'll snitch we knew them you that is watching it you know if you were a snitch and you're watching this you safe you know that you were a snitch but thank god and glory be to my life nobody snitched me for selling jewelries next disadvantage once school is in session it is difficult to leave the school premises i am saying this because yes you can apply for a permit to leave school 
but trust me the process is very long you have to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody before you can leave school except it is parental request and it's not just any other year parental request it has to be strong let's say visa application that's the best lie you can use any other thing medical they have medical center they will send you there they say what do you want we have treatment for you <laughs> you've paid for it to your school fees go and use it so once school is in session just take your mind off leaving school once the semester finish yes you can go but for me what i just used to do i used to just program my mind once i enter school i'm in school once i'm out of school i'm out of school next point a lot of childish and underage students i've said this already they admit really young people and i mean i don't blame them i don't expect somebody that has been babied all their life that has been babied you understand that does not know anything to all of a sudden start knowing things life is in stages the young shall grow and the next point no phones allowed i've said this already you said you know that's like the number one thing Covenant university is famous for is not a new development it's not today it has been on for years <laughs> So there's nothing that will change it except God touch your pull heart, which I doubt. God touches his heart every day, but for that phone part, forget it. You're not gonna work. The next disadvantage is tying your church attendance to class attendance. Now this was really one of the things that turned me off. This was also one of the things that gave me problem in my final year and in my third year. All of a sudden, our dean then, I'm not calling names, but our dean then or acting dean just woke up one morning. I think there was midweek service and the people in attendance was not as much as it should be. It was very evident that a lot of people stabbed the church stab the fellowship or what they call it i've forgotten all these terms really i've wiped covenant university from my brain you are making me talk all this talk and ah oh, man my mouth is pinning me i'm not gonna lie my lips are hurting i need water oh, oh jesus if there was one thing that was really bad was that fact that they tie your church attendance to your class attendance yes it is a missionary university yes it is a christian school yes all of that but let's be honest you should not be tying my spirituality or tying the fact that i attended church or i did not attend church you should not be making it affect my class attendance like i'm here to graduate i'm not here to study a course on christianity Come on, bro, there are some days that you are so tired and you're like, oh, I want to rest or something, or you have a test. Like, I just felt like that was really, really wrong. So that 300 level, when the dean just woke up and said, um, your attendance, it affected a bunch of students. Trust me, if you're watching this, and it, we all know that day, we all know that time. Everybody, it, it touched everybody, everybody, everybody feel them, one way or the other. We all felt it, like... It puts everybody in tension because if you don't write your exam, that's automatic carryover. Automatic carryover means that's automatic spillover because you have a limit of um, courses you can do in a semester, and that's 28 units. And some courses, let's say you do not make attendance for a three unit course, and maybe your next semester is already filled up with 28 units. Where do you want to put the three units course? It is automatic. It has gone to the next year. Even if you don't have a next year, you have to do the course. Frustration. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. God, thank you. If I say thank you 10,000 times, it's not enough. Thank you because ha, you did something marvelous in my life. You did amazing things in my life. Hmm. For me to graduate that school, it's not by power. It's not my power. It's not because I'm the most beautiful. It's not because of anything. It's just your grace. So thank you. I'm very, very appreciative. <laughs> I think that's all I have to say for pros and cons of Covenant University. So that was really the time of church attendance to class attendance. That's really one thing I feel should also be looked upon. If any CU staff or anybody that works there is watching this, I really think you should look into that. You should not be tying a student's chapel attendance to their class attendance thereby affecting their ability to take their exams it's not to me i'm i'm not in support and anybody watching this i'm sure they agree nobody's in support of that because 
come on let's be honest come on come on now my graduation my final year in school okay as god did it and as god had his way in my life i made it to my final year 100 level 200 level 300 level i was always failing one course which course was that math 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 100 level i failed math 200 level i failed i did it 200 level i passed 200 level now came and that's why i failing economics economics i was so stressed i it's so ironic how i studied accounting but i am terrible with maths there are some funny maths like what is alphabet looking for with numbers why why who decided that who brought that up simple maths one plus one is two two plus two is four you will come and say 2a minus 2c i should find x x from where what happened to x why am i finding x kilo day who lost x should go and look for x anyways long story short my 300 level i didn't feel any cause glory be to god but 300 level i was affected by that chapel attendant i couldn't write one of my exams which meant i had to automatically take it to my final year which is 400 level good and fine my project i did my project defended blah 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 did everything to god be the glory all of a sudden one day i was on my own i was on my own oh, i was on my own they sent letter to my room that i am being called upon for sdc case kilo day why what happened they say instagram post eh you don't mean it Instagram post. What did I post on my Instagram that is demanding SDC to see me? That I am now being summoned. I say, ah, this is my final year, like my last semester. This was even exam time. I say, hmm. I say, Stephanie, you must apply wisdom now. I did not go for the SDC case. So I did not go until I finished writing my final paper because you have to be smart. If I went, immediately they called me, immediately they summoned me, they would have passed judgment that. All of a sudden, I, I cannot take one exam, or if I have exam remaining, they are suspending me all of a sudden. Bruh. I finally went for the SDC case. They now showed me the picture that apparently somebody took a screenshot of a picture I posted during the holiday. I'm like, so wait, my Instagram is now affecting my academics? I told them in the SDC court, I said, hello, sir and madam. I am a model. I am... A content creator this is what i do this is how i paid my school fees this is how i feed this is how i take care of myself so i see no reason why what i am doing on the internet should be affecting my academics whoever took that screenshot god is watching god is not done with you whoever took my picture and took other girls pictures because i was not there that suffered that punishment we were plenty so people, they naturally have big boobs and they can't do anything like it is what god gave them in abundance it is huge it is bigger than their head it's bigger than every part of their body it is the biggest part of their body so what do you want to say should we wear booba i beg we will stop the play they summoned babes though thank god i made sure i took all my exams before i finally went to answer that sdc case when they now saw that i've written all my exams they now passed judgment the judgment was delayed nysc so that is why i have not served and that is why i don't think i will serve i don't know when they will put my name to serve to be honest because <laughs> i'm unbothered about it i'm really not in that zone Glory be to God that wisdom was applied and the punishment that they gave me was delayed NYSC. I know some people that they told them two weeks suspension immediately or whatever and they were in the middle of the exam and they did not write their exam. And what does that mean? Automatic carryover. What does automatic carryover mean? Automatic spillover. <laughs> it's so funny. If you attend a covenant university and you finish that school, you needed a time out. I was not okay mentally when I finished Covenant University, God knows. Immediately I finished Covenant University, that was when I went to get my tattoos. I was numb. I could not feel myself. I was in so much mental pain. I was, I was not myself. If I'm being honest, this is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation now. I was drained. I was rubbish. Like... I was the ah man, I was not myself basically. I felt so weak. I just wasn't myself. I was in a phase of almost entering depression. I was not happy. I had to get tattooed. 
and second ear piercings because I wanted to feel so bad. I couldn't feel pain. I couldn't feel anything. I was just numb. Bro, do you know what that means? It's a mental battle. I was not myself, but glory be to God. Hmm. Glory be to God for prayer and for the Holy Spirit and for personal salvation. Glory be to God for personal development and taking my time out to actually build a relationship with God for myself because if we're being honest, the way Conference University trains students, it does not encourage a healthy relationship with God because you're being forced. Half the time in my chapel service, I they crash. Now sleep, I they sleep. If person they come, I'll just take person sitting next to me. I say, please, if anybody's coming, just wake me up. Please wake me up. <laughs> if not, they'll tell me to stand up. Not like I care. Like, if they stand up, I'll stand up. I was also so carefree. I didn't care. That's the way to survive. You should not care. You should have multiple personalities. You should just be compliant. Do not look for anybody's trouble. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your circle small. And just pray to God to help you because I won't lie. Anybody in that school, I'm sure they have experienced mental battles one way or the other so shout out to you if you have graduated Covenant University and shout out to you if you are in Covenant University and shout out to you if you are thinking of entering Covenant University I hope this video has enlightened you and not confused you I hope my perspective oh, and personal experience has given you some insights i just hope this video has helped you one way or the other to making a decision there are so many other private universities if you want to go to common university it is a good school but at the same time i believe the cons are more than the pros it is not a school for the weak-hearted if you know that you cannot be a two-faced person or if you know that your personality is loud and you are a bubbly person bro sis don't don't go in if you are not mentally strong because it is really a battle it is a battle for the feet may the best man win that brings us to the end of this video wow i did it i can't believe i did it i shared my story <laughs> thank god for grace thank god for growth thank god for development thank god for feeling me and comforting me at those desperate times and not letting me fall off the wagon too far i'm really grateful and if you are currently struggling like having any mental battle you don't feel like yourself i really pray god comforts you i pray you find peace i pray you find yourself yeah i, I wish you well <laughs> so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and drop a comment i'll see you in my next video bye